Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I feel like utter shit. Um, I have really feel quite ill actually. Um, but I'm going to try persevere. I probably overwork myself but hey ho, it's Christmas. Um, but I, I need to get this finished so I have no choice. I would much rather be in my bed watching Noel, but uh, yes, unfortunately I have to try and get this completed. Now, um, just trying to find the drills I need, that's all, so just bear with me a minute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. I don't believe this. Oh no, Kate, whatever you do, do not scream. <laughs> I told you I'm, um, like, <laughs> I just don't know how I do it. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. See, a lot of these jewels keep falling. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you done it again? <laughs> oh, my God. Something's wrong with this, because these jewels keep popping off. Um, but anyway, guys, let's persevere. I'm sorry about that. Um, nearly knocked the whole lot flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I really do not feel very well at all um, so I'll probably I don't know how I've got it because I haven't even gone to Whitton all week so this must have happened when I was going shopping Some obviously, someone's obviously got a bug and passed it on to me thanks very much um, despite my best efforts of using hand sanitizer, I seem to have been uh, bunged up with something um it's basically like snuffy um <laughs> <laughs> snuffy what what is a snuffy <laughs> oh my god making up random words snuffy oh my god um no i must be bunged up with sinuses um sinuses it's basically where the tubes in your pipe, uh, the tubes in your nose, basically, um, uh, how to put this, basically sting, because they're blocked, um, but I haven't got that. I just feel like my head's on fire, um, because my, I've had a headache all day, I've took some medication, still won't bloody move, um, and it doesn't feel like a headache, it feels like more of a, a cold, like a head cold, if you get me. That should have gone up here. God, it's been a long day today. But roll on tomorrow, because tomorrow is an exciting day. Because I'm going to um, Whitham. Yes, um, I emailed Greater Anglia because I wanted to know exactly what the strikes were. And apparently, um, there are strikes from this weekend. Um, and then... I think they're leaving it until the next one, 24th. But, I mean, they can't change it because they have to give two weeks' notice. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but I really want... It's six o'clock. I've got quite a lot to do still. I need to watch... Um, I've had all the celebrations. Last night, um, earlier on, I was watching TV... And unfortunately, they were looking at me, so I had to eat them. Um, probably go shopping again next week. But, yeah, I... Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's them gone. But I've put the selection box in my bag because it's got to go to Wisdom. So hopefully I won't eat it. Um, but I have saved four chocolates just for emergency if I need an urgent fix of chocolate. <laughs> oh man i was gonna do my gnome today but unfortunately i ran out of daylight because i want to give it another coating on the belt but this is the gnome that i'm painting if you want to see the progress on that you will have to subscribe to my sister channel crafting with mike um so yeah but i blue flintstones made the flintstones
Even I've actually got the bedroom light on and it's as dark as anything over here. Probably making my headache worse, but I'm a fighter. I don't I know it's there and it's aggravating, but you just have to try and block it really. Um but yes, I'm looking forward to doing my Christmas message, um which I done last year. Um but you never saw it on this channel because obviously this channel has only come to fruition this year. So I will be doing a Christmas message on here. Um not entirely sure what day yet um but it's going to be nice because i can come on the camera rather than you see it like this someone's playing music i don't know what he's playing but yeah okay <laughs> i'll never forget this day right so this person obviously someone was outside in the communal area and um, she was having a cigarette and one of the neighbours decided to play this song and it's the one that is the neighbour that's always drunk and it, basically he played this song so she's out having a fag and he's played this song going you are beautiful <laughs> and stop laughing because of obviously she, she's looked up at the window <laughs> she's looked up at the window and i'm thinking oh my god what the hell must she be thinking <laughs> so whether, whether he played the song for her i don't know but it was so funny and then i <laughs> and then again he plays it again and it's going, you are beautiful. <laughs> There's another song and it goes, I won't go down with this ship. La 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 la. I will surrender. Cause I won't go down with this ship. I don't know, I think it's called White Something. I don't really know what it's called, but, um, I just. <laughs> You know when you need a good laugh, but yeah, I just found that so bloody funny. <laughs> and then I looked out the window, and you could see the woman laughing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> the other day, right? I'm not even. I'm not even joking, right? He was drunk again before, and we saw him. Oh, well, I saw him um, up near Tesco, because obviously I went up to Tesco to get something. This was ages ago. And, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. So he's walking along near the RSPCA shop, barefoot, walking along with his shopping. <laughs> And he's drunk and he's calling everyone, you know, names, which I'm not going to say on here, but obviously swear names. Um, <laughs> and the RSPCA man just looked as, like, in amazement. Um, but, oh, my God, it was so funny. Uh, but, yeah, he is funny. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, a lot of the t uh, tenants around here do uh, complain a lot against him because he, he's always drunk. And yeah. But it was... <laughs> it was funny. It's, it is laughable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, could you... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm in a I'm in a laughing fit. <laughs> Could you imagine if he's? <laughs> but could you imagine if he's walking along by it, and he's <laughs> whether he forgot to put his socks on, I don't know. But could you imagine if he walked along? Obviously, he's drunk, so we don't know what he's doing. Could, but <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> If he walked along and he trotted dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, 
like. Oh, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> or like he trod on an owl or something. Oh my god. Oh, I might try some um, gargle of salt water later because um, they reckon if you do gargling of salt water. Oh, boom. I forgot the time will start it now. Um, might go over, but hey ho, it's Christmas. Um, but yeah, because they say gargling of salt water is um, supposed to. Um, get rid of the ulcer but I have to be careful because obviously I have high blood pressure so if I take too much soul it sends it racing so uh but yeah I've not had any more heart palpitations which is nice um so yeah I think obviously as well resigning from that crap job that I was in resigning from there I think that sees the pressure because when you work in the kitchen, you're flying around like a headless chicken. You know, you've got all the condiments to do. You've got the laying of the tables, pouring the drinks, helping the chef out. And it's, it's, yeah, it's not good. Um, so taking, and then like, there's the fear of going in one day and cleaning up all the fucking washing up, you know? Um, so yeah, um, that was one of the big things that really sort of pissed me off and I walked out once because I was like I'm not cleaning within this up yeah you pay me to do the job but this is mountain falls you know this ain't fair no one wants to come in and clear up a mountain full of your washing up make it clean your own mess but one of the relief chefs that used to come in she would like clean as she goes so if you made something like an omelette she would clean it up after and that's how it should be you know so, uh, yeah, I don't know, but it's, it's ridiculous, really. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I need to get some more wax. And then, obviously, I've been packing my bag, so I'm going to have to take... What I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of doing um, my prancer. You know that... Some of you from World of Mike will know what I mean, but I have an off-camera prancer project. And I think I might just listen to some music and finish it off-camera, really. Um, but I'll put the start date in the Gemflow app. Um, but yeah. But at least this one will be complete with all the colours, unlike the Halloween. I was thinking of bringing that back for like one day special, maybe, but I'm not entirely sure whether I'll do that. I might just roll it over to next year, fill the gap, and then go on to the next one, which I'm not entirely sure what the next one will be at the moment. I've seen some really good ones like bunnies and that but oh i had this gorgeous bunny um easter painting again it was on the other channel but this year you'll probably see it um that's another lovely one to work on but yeah but with me if i'm ill i i just try to keep going you know i try to get on with what i need to do i cannot sit there all day doing nothing that drives me insane um, or like, you know, just sitting there wasting the day when I could be getting on with things, you know. So for me, I need to, um, you know, for me, I like to get on with things. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I found a multi-placer when I was hoovering up earlier. This was near my radiator on the floor. So this must be a four-placer, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, but yeah, I didn't know I had this one. I need to put some wax in there, actually, so let me get some wax. But, yeah, well, after this, I'll probably do dinner, and then once that's done, sit down. Because I don't think EastEnders is on today, and I'm wine for an hour, and just chill and watch TV and do some more of this. Because the more we get... I, I mean, I film right up to 11, uh, 12 on this. Sometimes I go to bed early. Like last night, I finished about 10-ish because obviously the news was on um, and my friend was on there, Chris Mason. Um, and he's not really my friend. He's just someone that I like watching on the TV. And I love it when he goes, and try. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I think it took over from Laura Koonsberg. So, uh, yeah. A lot of these colours are the same. So you've got like KLN the same, um, you know, N and H, sorry, um, four and uh, five are sort of like similar, similar colours as well. So, yeah. It, I don't really like doing sections where there's a lot of colour changing and Diamond Paintings with TM has this gorgeous, uh, it's like Up, it's called Up. It's a diamond painting and I've spoke about this previously. I really want to give that a go, but seeing all the amount of colour changes in them balloons, I mean, yeah, that's that's really going to aggravate me, I think, during that painting. So uh, I'm still debating whether to get that. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do on that yet. I quite like working with this place. So this place is very nice to work with. It's nice and chunky. I have seen metal ones as well. Um, also, I need to say the video that I put up, the live stream for the Diamond Art Studio is no longer going to be. I still haven't received it. And we've gone down the refund route at the moment. And... Um, I think Tessa's going to sort me out another voucher because um, I said if it hasn't arrived, we'll refund the voucher back to because they won't refund it to me. It has to go back to the person who bought you it. So Tessa's going to sort me out another voucher. Um, but even though it's first class, they claim they sent it on first class. Yet Royal Mail was back on the 12th and 13th. So, you know, you can't keep saying that it's Royal Mail. Um, it is a shame because I would have loved to have, you know, try them out. And But, you know, when I'm shopping with the company, I want a fast turnaround. It has to be good customer service, fast turnaround. And from the information and from the, um, you know, the service I've received, never again. So I said, look, you know, I want, I've spoke to Tessa about this. I want a refund, send it back to her and we'll part ways. So, yeah. I believe another friend of mine, well, ex-friend now, because I don't really like the way she is towards me. Um, she had problems with them as well, I believe. Um, so, yeah, you know when you talk to someone new and you, see, you sort of like, you talk to them, but you don't really, something's there that you don't like and you don't really get on with that person. You don't know what it is and the person don't know what it is. But I know when I feel comfortable with someone and when I don't. And this person that was uh, messaging me, I, I just, th there was something there I didn't like. And yeah, I didn't like it. The way she was towards me, the attitude, I just didn't like it. And I blocked her for that. Um, so it was just that. And that was fairly recently. So only sort of like a month or so. Um, well, actually, it could have been sooner than that, but I was in a live stream and that was it. That was uh, the end of the stream, unfortunately. I, I unsubscribed from the channel and that's it. I don't think so. Um, it is a shame because I would have liked to have, you know, bought a painting. But unfortunately, um, this specific person, I I don't really like their style, um, how they talk to people. So, but I'm hoping to get a custom with my other friend who's trying to sort it out for me. She's got her own company. So she's going to try and sort that out for me, which is fantastic. Um, because the custom I got from Amazon was a whole total disaster. And yeah, I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, so my other friend is going to try and sort it out. And um, she's got her own company, so it's really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I feel so ill. Oh, no, not this again. He's playing the same thing again. I can hear it from up here. It must be that time of year again. He always plays me. He's really, really good. He's a good neighbour in that, but he re he's always like... He seems to get depressed every so much down the line. It's always like, it always seems to be on special occasions because um, apparently he lost his dad 
Um, but yeah, he's uh, he always plays music like at the wrong times. You know, like six, seven o'clock when people are trying to go to bed. Because some people do go to bed early. Um, you know, but my throat sounds a lot better than yesterday. I mean, it was proper like stinging every time I ate. But I think since doing that gargle of salt water, it's uh, sort of helped it out. But I feel really bunged up and snuffled up. And uh, yeah, um, not in a happy mood uh, with this. But it's been a good day today. Got some more stuff done that I needed to do. So I was getting um, on my other channel. I've been tidying it up a bit. So I've been removing like stuff like Westminster. Because I'm no longer dealing with them. Um, I didn't like the service received. And I part ways with them. Also their coins are very thin. They're nothing like the coin club. But as I said in my previous video. It was something to do with a debt that formed. And they basically didn't want to send me more coins. Which is fair enough. You know the money's over to them. I completely understand. But the account was always set up. To send me the goods first. Before I get you know pay. Um. That's how it is with all my companies that I shop with. But, yeah. Um, so, I was like, do you know what? I'll send you the coins. Refund me. Let's call it a day. We'll go our separate ways. And that's how we did. I can't shop with a company that has took all this time. You know, they've, they've not sent me any coins for months. Even though I was still paying. Some of the companies I shop with, they, um, you know, I owe them a bit of debt. But because they can see that I'm paying... They still send the stuff to me. And that's how it should be. But no. That's, you know, what it is. And I, I'm really angry because I sent them a video. <coughs> I sent them a video because they said, set, uh, get a proof of postage. And I was like, no, I don't, I'm not queuing up for that. I'll take a video on my phone of me posting it in the letterbox. And that'll be your proof of postage. Oh no, we haven't received it back yet. And I'm like, but you've re you know, you've got evidence to show that I put it in the letterbox. But no, we've got to wait for the money back. Even though I've sent them proof of that. And I sent them proof of me putting it inside the envelope. But no, wait and wait and wait. It's okay for them. They're in an office, you know, probably got all their Christmas stuff. I haven't, well, I have got most of it. But, you know, that money I need back. I have stuff to pay with it for from it so that's why i don't like sending things back i much prefer getting the refund first and then i'll send the stuff back because i'm out of pocket by doing it this way you know so and uh all the companies are going oh it's it's raw mouse strikes and all this you know you can't keep Blaming Royal Mail. So, you know. Change the record. Getting boring, you know. Um, but yeah, it's... it's. I'm quite looking forward to my winter one. It's like a donkey... It's, um, I'm part of the donkey sanctuary, so I give them a bit of money each month. Um, only like £2.50. But you get like a membership pack and you get like a little photo of your donkey. I do believe I had it around here somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. I'll have to show you at some point. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Alf Oscar. So there's Oscar, my donkey that I'm helping. And this is from a company called The Donkey Sanctuary. So it tells you a bit about the um, about Oscar and his best friend. Since losing his best friend Moses, Oscar has found a new friendship in Junior. He likes having fun and playing, and he once stole a jacket from the staff washing line. So, uh, <laughs> he's he's a mischievous little donkey. <laughs> and um, I used to help Red Wings for years. My nan, basically, my history, my journey into sort of charity came from my nan. Ever since seeing her with a leaflet, she basically done me adoption, uh, bought me an adoption. Which lasts, which lasts a whole year. You obviously don't take the horse home. It's basically helping with the food, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it sort of began from that. And I've always thoroughly enjoyed helping charities. Um, some people don't agree with it. But that's them, not me. Um, I 
there was a chap I spoke about, you know, the RNLI, um, and he was like, why are you giving money to them when they're helping people come into the country? And I took no notice of it. And then since I saw a TV advert um, helping them with Border Force, I thought, right, that guy was right. And I stopped it with immediate effect, got an SAR, which is a data access request. And then I said, right, I'm calling it. I, I can't help a charity that is assisting with helping people come into the country unlawfully. And basically they came back and said, oh, we, our primarily goal is to help people at sea. We then pass them over to border force. And I'm like, yeah, but you're still helping them. You know, they're out there in the sea, shouldn't have come into the country because they're trying to get into the country illegally. And you're basically assisting them. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't agree with that. I mean, most of the money you send goes in their pockets because of all the admin that they have to do and all the, you know, so that the staff responding to emails and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, got to watch this. I really must get a seat because I'm sitting on a shredder at the moment, which is very high tech and you can hear the bin cracking. So, uh... It's quite sturdy, it hasn't cracked or anything, but yeah, right, I need a drink because I'm literally parched at the moment. Could do with a nice lemon zip, but I haven't got them. Oh. Do you like my cup? It's Dennis the Menace. I showed my old manager that, Katie, and um, she was like, oh, lovely. <laughs> I had to text her saying that I couldn't come in and she was like I love your mug and I was like thanks so cool and she's like how are you feeling because I've got no staff um not good sorry gets you know it's not my problem I'm not I'm ill I'm not coming in when I'm ill you know find some other unit because that especially like chef managers they'll get them from other sites but yeah I've had some fun over the years some wonderful people and then quite bizarrely the last person they employed was someone that I used to go to church with um I used to be a Christian I'm a Christian but I sort of I used to attend church and then I like didn't really do it anymore because it, it it's not me for me church is basically for old people that's how I see it um and yeah it wasn't really for me I still you know I'll ask him any question I'll always ask God for help and he always provides you know he doesn't always do it there and then but he'll do it in his own time you know he's working on the solution all you have to do is ask for him and people might laugh at that but he is real and um it you know all you have to do is ask and it will help as I said the answer may not be yes all the time but he knows that you need help and he knows and he will you know sort it out so, yeah, he's helped me quite a lot. And it's when I walked out of work one day, because I got so frustrated, because I came in and he said, uh, one of my managers went, right, you need to clean the forks again. And I was like, no, you're taking the mick, okay? I've cleaned all them. They're all sparkly clean. And you could see it shimmering. But no. This was, I dug a bit deeper, and it turns out it was revenge for basically reporting him to the line manager because he was being out of order so he thought oh i'll get him back i'll make him wash all that up little did he know that i w i walked out i had enough of it i'm not there to be took the piss out of so uh but yeah i was like i got home and it's still i was like right we're going to get a dismissal letter in a minute you know but nothing and then they said when you go when you're coming back to work and i couldn't believe it i was like i've just walked out like surely you must like that's like dismissal, isn't it? Because, you know, it's technically gross misconduct. But, yeah, I personally believe God was working on his magic and they wanted me there still. So, but, yeah, I uh, I don't miss it. Best decision I made. Um, I do this all the time. I think what it is, is because this tin is black, I think it's not part of diamond painting, but it, you know, I keep thinking it's not the right colour or it's not a tray. <laughs> that reminds me, I do need to find that. I don't know where I've put my diamond painting bag. 
No, that's right. I put it because Kay told me to put it in a pencil bag. All my diamond painting pens and that are all already over there. That's right, because I I remember saying that I forgot to bring it over and that's why we've only got the blue pen. Right, yeah, lovely. That saves me a job then. Um, brilliant. All I just need to do is pack my Christmas shirts and my wash bag and then um, so obviously I'll take my like toiletries over like my razor, my toothbrush, um, stuff like that really. Um, and then I'll probably come back on uh, 2nd of January maybe. But they're saying that there's no strikes throughout the week so I may come, the next strike is the 24th or something so I may come back here and then go back again. But I just want to get the presents over because that's what's panicking me at the moment. Um, I also need. I also feel like hot as well, so I don't know if I'm coming down with something. But I don't know if not, there's no point doing a COVID test because I don't know if you've noticed, but these stupid um, them little capsules with the liquid in, you pour it out and it dries up before you even you know. You, when you put the swab in, it dries up before you even can squeeze it out. It's crap. And I thought, well, I ain't ordering one. You know, you've got to order one and then pay delivery as well. That ain't right, you know. Basically, their way of recovering money for the, um, you know, all the money they've spent on these kits. That's what it is. Nothing's ever free. Apart from this discount thing, the energy rebate. But... I thought that was going up till um, April, but it's finishing in March, apparently. I've received November's and December's, so I think it ends in um, March. Enzo, if you're on here, or Peta, let me know if your countries are doing an energy rebate, because obviously every country is different, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, the UK at the moment is not in a good state. Um, We've got big, big financial problems uh, within the government in this country at the moment because uh, everyone's striking and now all uh, all like other companies are copying. So you've got, you sort of, like it starts a four mile, then it goes to a great wrangler, then it's sort of like, it's just escalated from there because now it's all like ambulance drivers and, you know, key workers and it's just getting ridiculous. It does make you depressed because hearing the same thing all the time, they've sort of gone off the cost of living and now it's all to do with strikes every day on the news. So um, I'm looking forward to a bit for break tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to probably dig out my kit for Prancer and work on that. Oh, crumbs. I've put the wrong... Um, I can't even see six. Oh, crap. C6, yeah, lovely. Fantastic. Just pluck that off. I've put an A down. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. Because obviously that's the wheel for the lorry. But I'm not entirely sure what that's what the purpose is of that is. But yeah. But not really that hungry to, my, to be honest. But uh, hopefully the salt in the pizza will try and kill this bloody mouth ulcer. That's the point. I found the uh, dentist today and I said, I want to book him for an extraction, please. Um, because obviously, I think it was after hours because I had to leave a voicemail. And I, um, I said, could I book in an extraction, please? And uh, I got a voicemail today saying something about, oh, we can't just send you to extraction. We'll need to do a checkup first. And the last time I was there um, was to do with a a difficult extraction so a specialist had to do it because basically say that's the gum the tooth was like underneath it but all cut off so he had to slice into the gum to get it out using elevators to sort of like get it up but yeah so that's basically their way of saying right we need more money from you because that's going to cost me more now I've got to pay for the because obviously I can't get it free because I work so that means I've got to pay out twice, one for the check, God knows how much that's going to be, probably 20 quid, and then I've got to pay out, because I'm private, I've got to pay out for, um, I've got to pay out for uh, extraction, which is probably going to be like £80 something, 
I think it's £62.10, but obviously if it's private, it's going to be well over like 80 quid. But I can't leave it, you know, it's it needs to be sorted because there's no point leaving the tooth in there. You might as well just extract it and then let the gum just seal over. Um, I've tried to do it myself and it's really strange because my mum's got exactly the same thing. It's basically broke below the gum line, so you can't even wriggle it out. You've got to try and... You're going to have to pay to get it done. And when I was in there, it was it was like a vampire scene. All, all blood's running down my neck. And obviously, they're not allowed to let you leave until they've, um, you know, wiped it off. And I felt like a, I felt like I was a baby because they're wiping my face with a cloth. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. But, yeah... Well, he's been playing this song three times. It's going off again. Why is he not playing Christmas songs? I haven't heard back from Sky yet because last night I was going to watch uh, the uh, repair shop came on and it said a Christmas special, but somehow something went wrong on the planet with I with the controllers, and they put on. Bangladesh, something to do with Bangladesh. So uh, I've emailed them to see if there was like a technical glitch. But yeah, nothing back yet. So I'll follow that up. I'm very hot on things. So if people don't respond, I'll follow it up in a couple of days. So I don't like being ignored. I'll be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest, no one does. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you know, I'll leave it. If they say five days, then, yeah, that's fine. But after the fifth day, I'll be chasing you, you know. <laughs> but look, guys, we've got the next vlog. Yes. Excellent. So we can move it along now. I don't think we're going to make it because... Uh... But, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hours. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, baby. So yes, we would have had Diamond Art Studio, but that's the reason why you've not seen it, because I still ain't got it. So, it's the right pain at the moment, and the company don't give a crap. Oh, we've posted it, it's raw mail's fault, you know. They don't care, as soon as it's passed over, that it's almost like it's out of their control, which to be fair with you is it you know there's nothing they can do about it but obviously after so many days i think it's 10 working days they have to act on it they have to send a replacement or whatever it is but you know nothing's turned up and i asked for proof of postage because they sound like they're a family-run business it doesn't sound like a proper company to me um and they basically won't send me proof of the postage. What they did send me was a Sainsbury's receipt, which is not proof of postage. And all that sort of showed was, I think, was... I think it was a picture of a stamp. Because one of the owners sent me a photo of a bloody pack of stamps. What do I want to see that for? That's not proof of postage. But, yeah, it's... Never again. Never. I, I'm sorry, but, you know, I don't think it's raw now. And, yeah... Not a good experience, but I know someone else that has parted ways with them as well. So, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely not going to be again. I merely only shop with... I didn't even know about them, but I only shop with them because I got a gift voucher. So, that's the only reason. Um, but, yeah, you know, you know, you have to, you know, feel confident in shopping, but... It's one of the reasons why I do everything online, because trying to shop in Tesco the other day was a nightmare. Everyone's in your bloody way. They walk as slow as anything. You know, people, in the, they scan like this. In in the shops, they're like, bib, bib, bib. And it's like, come on, you know. I've got all day. I've got things to do. But 
for some reason this £75 voucher wouldn't work online. Which I need to email them about because it should work online. So let's see how much I want to take this up by. Can you see that I am not afraid? Shaka. Lawrence is good at being no he shall be rocking in my show. So this is interesting because we're coming up to that ink section, so we'll see how that works. But um, I'm going to take here one more. But as you can see, that ink's there. But this black, as you can see, has covered it up. So we'll get away with that part there. But unfortunately, we've got to stop because we're out of time. But uh, it's getting there really, really good. Um, we've literally so close to the end now. So uh, we're getting there. Very, very lovely. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be uh, notified of all the videos I do. And I'll see you and uh, soon for another session. It's so exciting and we're almost at the end. Yes, in time for Christmas, yes. Um, and then after I'm thinking of doing these, just to, you know, if we've got enough time, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that is looking really, really lovely. As you can see, I've got all jewels everywhere, but we are almost finished. Another one done and dusted. And then what I'll do is at the end, I'll show you what my January painting is gonna be. But anyway, take care guys, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.